Welcome to Air Force Funnies, I'm Don Ferguson. This week we start the annual event known as the NHL Playoffs. So let's drop the puck and celebrate our love of hockey. What the hell was that? Hey, rap! Hey, rap! Oh, don't skate away from me. Hey, you skate away from me. I'll come down there and shove that whistle down your bony throat. Oh, for crying out loud, backjack, Aiden, backjack. Is this why I paid for hockey camp? Hey, next summer you get a job, pal. You pay me back every penny of the money I clearly wasted. I don't care if you are 10. <laughs> You're a disgrace to the name Gorgachuk. <laughs> oh, good, good. It's yours, Aiden. It's yours. Take it up ice. You got your winger with you. What are you doing? No! Don't hold up at that blue line! What the? The coach is taking him off! Oh, that's great! You're a dead man, Parker! Yeah, you! That's what's gonna happen to you, huh? You like to... ah! The new Hockey Dad Taser from Canadian Tire. Because it's a long season. And lo, in the land of ice and snow, they did invent a game which involved a stick. Which they, for obvious reasons, did call a stick. And used it to hit a small, hard, round piece of rubber, which they did call a puck. Because it sounded like the word the players spake when it hit them. And they did call the game hockey. And they became so good at this game, they did suffer from the sin of hubris, which the dictionary did define as overweening pride. Yea, they had become overweenies. <laughs> and the Almighty did look down upon them and said to St. Peter, these people of the land of ice and snow, they are full of hubris. And St. Peter did reply, listen to Brother Don of Cherry and you will realize that is not all they are full of. <laughs> And the Almighty said they must be punished. Thenceforth, their national team will not win a game. And so it came to pass. They lost at the Olympiad. They did lose the World Championship. They even lost to one team from a country where Zamboni was the name of the nation's capital. <laughs> Yea, they lost so often they did consider calling themselves the Leafs. And the people of the land of ice and snow finally realized they had been cursed by the Almighty and did go to their leader, Saint Jean of Chrétien, <laughs> he of the balanced budget and the unbalanced mind, <laughs> and said unto him, intercede with the Almighty and get this curse taken off us. And Saint John did go to the plains they called Abraham and beseech the Almighty to have pity. And the Almighty said, but I must punish you. Would you settle for a seven-year plague of boils? And St. John of Cretien said, we have been cutting back on Medicare. I don't think we could handle boils. <laughs> but we will agree to seven years of stupidity. And so it was agreed. St. John of Cretien never revealed his pact with the Almighty. But many in his party guessed what it was when he told them, don't worry, I'm going to be in power for at least another seven years. <laughs>